Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. This is a new video. It's about jobs, crafts, occupations, and so on. Okay, there are lots of synonyms that mean jobs. It's part of Unit 10, Unit 10, textbook, folks. The lesson integrates vocabulary, reading, speaking, and writing activities. So let's go. First, we have a, an outline. Smilters, reading comprehension. Glossary, comprehension questions, correction, vocabulary, we have a list of common jobs. This one is a very important exercise, okay, it's a list of new words for lots of you. Reordering a dialogue and role-playing it. Another speaking activity, find the right jobs for the definitions. Write about your dream job or your future job. And then there is a poem for retention. Okay. Glossary and then listening to my reading. So let's get started. Glossary. This is Frank, Mr. Garrett Frank. Mr. Frank Garrett. He's an English teacher or a teacher of English. And this is a ferry. It's a type of a ship. It's a means of transport or transportation. And then look at the verb here. Look at the picture. He, the ball. He catches the ball. Okay. Look at the students here in school. They are very happy. The students uh, leave the school because it's 6 o'clock or 6.30. So they are very happy, happy to finish school and go, go home. The socks here cost 350 pounds. Cost to can live. Look at the picture here. A clerk, Muaddaf, he is not happy. The clerk is very tired. Look at his eyes, okay? And here, before we read the text, we have questions first to listen to, to pay attention to, to copy down, and then to try to answer while I'm reading the text. Is Mr. Garrett French? Does he go to Boulogne by train? What does he leave his car? Leave your truck. What does he catch? The train. How much does the journey cost? Can you live? How much can cost you can live the journey? Why does Mr. Garrett live in France but work in England? And we have a text. I read, Mr. Frank Garrett, 65, is a school teacher. He is English, but he lives in France, in the Normandy village of Yerville. Mr. Garrett lives in France, but he works in England. Every Monday, he leaves home at 2.30 in the morning and drives 101 miles from his village to Boulogne. Mile? So he equals 1.6 kilometer. I repeat, every Monday he leaves home at 2.30 in the morning and drives 101 miles from his village to Boulogne, where he leaves his car and catches the ferry to Folkestone. Then he catches the train in Maidstone in Kent and he arrives at Maynard School at 8.25. He teaches French from 9 in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon and then he leaves school. He arrives home at 9.30 in the evening. The journey there and back takes 12 hours and costs only 16 pound. Fortunately, luckily, Mr. Garrett works in England only one day a week. And what does he, does he do on the other days? He teaches English. He has a class of 18 French students in Yerville. Yes, on Tuesdays I'm tired, he says, but I love my job in England and I, like my, and I love my home in France. I'm a happy man. Okay, the text, questions, and then the answers that you are going to, to, to come up with. So please pause the video for a while, try to answer these questions, and then we correct together. Okay, be serious, do it. Correction, have you finished? Time for correction, okay? Is Mr. Garrett French? No, he is English. He is not French. Does he go to Boulogne by train? No, he drives to Boulogne. He drives his own car to Boulogne. He goes to Boulogne by car. Where does he leave his car? He leaves his car in Boulogne. Where does he catch the train? He catches the train in Maidstone in Kent. How much does the journey cost? It costs. The journey costs. 16 pound. Why does Mr. Garrett live in France but work in England? Because he loves his home in France. Clear? Next. 
Okay, jobs. I have a list of jobs here for you. Listen to me. They're very important for lots of you. And I know that some students don't know, you know, lots of, of jobs in English. So it's time. It's an occasion. It's an opportunity for you, you now to listen and try to remember for a later use. Teacher. Doctor. Nurse. Surgeon. Seamstress. Boxer. Model. Security guard, farmer, postman, doorman, policeman, policewoman, police officer, taxi driver, footballer, coach, singer, pilot, cameraman, TV presenter, electrician, welder, Plumber, mechanic, carpenter, janitor, waiter, wedding planner, monodim hafalet, clerk, motaf or motafa, barber, judge, lawyer, engineer, mohendis, pharmacist, butcher, florist, soldier. Again, baker. Firefighter or fireman or firewoman, grocer, green grocer, employee, mustahdam, employer, mustahdim, mushagil, cashier, architect, muhandis memeri, librarian, actor, actress, lineman or electrician, acrobat, engineer, magician or magician. Fisherman, Mason, Builder, Mason, Builder, Clown, and Scientist, TV Reporter, Waitress, Secretary, Lifeguard, Painter, Painter again, Bike Mechanic, Businessman, Businesswoman, Shepherd, Gardener, Forest Ranger, Flight attendant, accountant, muhasib, dentist, psychiatrist, veterinarian or vet, veterinarian or vet, astronomer, garbage man. Here we have an activity, an exercise, a dialogue to put in order. It is in disorder, it's not in order so try to write it in order the question answer question answer question answer and then it's 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 done okay take your time take a sheet of paper and do it please okay got finished time for correction what do you do i am an accountant muhasib where do you work i work in an office how do you find it it's okay, I guess I like it. Okay, you can role play the dialogue with your friend, with your brother, with your sister, father, mother. You choose a cousin, even a neighbor if you want. I remove the answers. You can play it this way, you know, you can come up with different answers. Imagine you're a policeman, a judge, or whatever you'd like to be in the future. Answer your friend's questions. Answer A N S W E R. I can come up with my own answers if you want. What do you do? I am a teacher. Where do you work? I work in school. How do you find it? Okay, interesting. I guess I like it. Another dialogue. Ask your friend about your father's job or work. Where does your father work? What does he do? How does he find it? You can come up with different answers, okay? It's a very easy exercise or activity and it's an opportunity for you, you know, to practice speaking English with, you, with, with somebody, you know? Answers, my father, he works in a store. Where does your father work? My father, he works in a store, in a shop. What does he do? He is a salesperson. How does he find it? He likes his job a lot. He finds it interesting. He, it is lovely for him. Okay, pause the video, role play the dialogue with your brother, sister, or whomever you like. Okay, next. Now I have 
definitions, tarifat, of jobs, and you listen to them, and then you come up with the suitable job, or with the right job. Example, a person who teaches in a school is a teacher, okay? A person who designs machines, bridges, railways, designs yusammin, bridges, qantarat, or qanatir, railways, sikuk hadidiya, okay, what's the job here? We're speaking about a eh, teacher, no, a doctor, no, plumber, no, an engineer. See, a person who designs buildings, houses, flats, apartments, blocks of flats, is a, an architect, a person who keeps public order, who keeps peace in the street, in a country, in a city, okay, who keeps public order, prevents him now and solves يحل, crime, جرائم, or crimes. A policeman, a police officer, a policewoman, and so on, okay? A person who owns, يملك, who has, who possesses, or manages a farm, مزرع. He is a teacher? No, maybe. <laughs> If a teacher has two jobs, okay, it's a teacher. Or he is a, a farmer. A person who writes for newspapers, magazines, television, or radio. This one is very clear. A journalist. A person whose job is to fit uh, and repair water pipes. A plumber. A person whose job is to operate the controls of an aircraft. To control a plane. Okay? To fly a plane in the sky, to fly a helicopter, he is a pilot, good guess. A person whose job is to make and repair or fix wooden objects like a table, a chair, a cupboard, etc. He is a carpenter, of course. Next, writing, write about your future job, consider the following questions. Okay, we have some questions here to help you, you know, to guide you, write a nice interesting okay paragraph what are your skills maharatuk i mean what are you good at do you want to make a lot of money do you like to work indoors or outdoors indoors or outdoors do you like to work for a body for example for a company for the state or set up your own business to create your own business so what's your dream job I have an example here, so please stop the video, pause it for a while, and then, you know, come up with your own paragraph. Try to go back to the questions, yes, you know, okay? These questions are, are guiding. They guide you to write a nice, interesting paragraph. My example, to begin with, first of all, to start with, okay, very a bit, I'm strong at speaking foreign languages. What's Ajnabi, a foreign Ajnabi. I can speak and write good German, French, and English. Also, I don't, I'm very good at computation, computer studies, maths, physics, and sport. Besides, Tani, also, I am good at management, Sir, I am a member of a scout association, Jamil Shafa. I like to make a lot of money. I like having a modern big house, a fast car, and I am fond of, I love traveling. In fact, I don't wish to work for a body. I'd prefer, I would prefer, or I'd prefer to set up, to create, to make my own business. I am planning to create my own company, Shaika, for importing and exporting their high-tech machines. That's an example, okay? Wish you'd come up with your own paragraph, your own example. Because it's good for you, you know, to put pen to paper and to put pen to paper and to put pen to paper and write. Write as much as you can. Think about different issues and try to write about them. A paragraph of four or five lines each day will be good for you, will do you a lot of good. So next activity, glossary. Picture number one is a castle. Picture two, cave, gaf, graveyard, maqbara or cemetery. A vampire, he is crazy or insane. Allow, permit, total in, tasmah, weird, strange, gharib, daytime, night, layl, nahar, 
light مضيء dark مظلم swift سريع fast behave تصرف to behave in a good way or in a bad way okay suspicion شك or doubt hurt simple past of here infinitive here simple past hurt نطق يتغير ثم نضيف دي at the end shift تنوب في 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 الوظيفة مثلا if you work from 8 to 2 this is a shift if you work from 2 to 6 o'clock in the evening or to 8 o'clock in the evening this is shift number 2 from 8 to 2 o'clock in the morning or 6 o'clock in the morning this is another shift تنوب في اشتغال and this is sunrise and the rise of the sun in the morning okay in the evening it's sunset okay I read the poem for you my dad is Dracula by Ken Nisbet. He's a, an American poet from California. He, he was born in 1962. The dad of Samuel I read, I think my dad is Dracula. I know that sounds insane, but listen for a moment and allow me to explain. We don't live in a castle and we never sleep in caves, but still there is something weird about the way my dad behaves. I never see him go out in the daytime when it's light. He sleeps all day till evening. Then he leaves the house at night. He comes home in the morning saying, Man, I'm really dead. He kisses us goodnight and then by sunrise he's in bed. My mom heard my suspicion and she said, You're not too swift. Your father's not a vampire. He just works the graveyard shift. I repeat if you want. I think my dad is Dracula. I know that sounds insane. But listen for a moment and allow me to explain. We don't live in a castle and we never sleep in caves. But still... There is something weird about the way my dad behaves. I never see him go out in the daytime when it's light. He sleeps all day till evening. Then he leaves the house at night. He comes home in the morning. He's saying, man, I'm really dead. He kisses us goodnight and then by sunrise he's in bed. My mom heard my suspicion. She said, you're not too swift. Your father's not a vampire. He just works the graveyard shift. That's the end of my video. Wish you the best of luck. Keep watching my videos, look to the new coming ones, look forward to the new coming ones. Subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Leave me a nice supporting, nice comment just below. And thanks for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.